Okay, I left mortgages for last in a separate video because this is worth uh, taking your time to really think about this. Now, the mortgage is going to be like your probably your biggest loan you ever take in your entire life. It's a humongous investment. And let's see how it works. So let's say you want to purchase an $800,000 home and the bank offers you a mortgage of 6.4% compounded monthly. And your term is 25 years. So let's talk about those numbers. $800 home is now not crazy. Um, if you are paying a loan of $800,000, that means that your car, your house is a lot bigger than that or more expensive. So this is probably a little, I don't know, some, for some people that'll be okay. For me, that's way too high. Um, but anyway, let's go with it. 6.4 compounded monthly. That's probably a little high at this point in time. You're probably paying around 3% on your mortgages. But again, we've seen that mortgages have gone up all the way to 20%. And you're going to see on the next next class that yeah the interest rate makes a really big difference in how much you pay particularly if you be borrowing something big and it, it's there for a long time your term is how long is the money is gonna the how many how long you're gonna take to pay back your mortgage and in canada now the maximum you can get is 25 years now of course like the longer you take to pay the less you're gonna pay per month but you're gonna end up paying more interest but it's kind of hard so um just start thinking ask your parents how much money do they they do they get per month and so you can start seeing okay is it how how what's what's a reasonable amount of money to pay for a mortgage like what percentage of your salary should it be your mortgage to pay back okay so let's say you're doing this eight hundred thousand dollars six point four what is your monthly payment all right what's the formula a uh, big chunk of money at the beginning or at the end clearly at the beginning you, they, you borrow all that money from the bank and you give it to the house owner and uh, now you got a little by little pay back eight hundred thousand dollars okay so it's going to be regular payments definitely every month so we're going to do a uh, present value formula so present value formula the i is 0 0.064 divided by 12 because it's monthly again and your term is 25 years okay 25 how many months are there in 25 years i think the answer is 300 so let's look at this. So when you do your formula, you, uh, okay, I've got a, I'm sorry, at the bottom of the screen, but you can still see it. 800,000 is on the left. Then you got the big bracket one more time. You just got to figure out this big bracket and see what that number is. And that number works out to be 149.4831. Make sure you can get that number. Oh, I see that you can't actually see it there. And when you divide them by, here comes the, the first crazy thing. And that is, you got to pay $5,000, over $5,000 to be able to pay back this mortgage. Uh, I can't do it. <laughs> I don't have, like, my salary will not allow me to get this and then have, actually, I can't, I can't even afford that. But even if I did have that, I still need to feed my family, buy clothes, pay for gas, all the utilities mortgage insurance such as car insurance life insurance uh i don't know how people that but that's a lot a lot of money wouldn't you say okay so at this point in coming class people are going like what the heck i would have shared with you actually exactly my my income uh, my take-home income but i don't want to do it online and you realize that yeah this is completely impossible for me if, if my uh, wife had a similar job to mine maybe we might be able to manage it but it would be really really tight but that's not all here's the thing we still have to figure out how much interest we're paying on this mortgage and in order to figure out that we know that we pay this 5300 how many times 300 times so go ahead grab a calculator multiply that by 300 and see what number that is so if you multiply by 100 it's $1.6 million. So you borrowed $800,000, but because, remember how in, um, exponential function is gonna go up? And this time it works completely against you because you're borrowing a very big chunk of money. You're leaving it there for a very long time. So it allows the interest kind of to go, go up. When we look at an amortization table, we're gonna see that we pay a crap load of interest at the very, very beginning because that's when you owe the full $800. 
as as it goes down, but near the end, you hit O less and less, the interest is very small. It's still the same percentage, but a percentage of a small number is small. A percentage of a big number is a big number. So it's your interest to try to pay this as fast as you can, because we pay, as you can see, a lot of interest. If the, you can play around with, uh, with the spreadsheet and you can see that 6.4, if you bring it down, it's not gonna be exactly double, but it's, it's a humongous amount of, of money. So how much interest? You pay in 805 just in interest. A little misleading because the amount of money in, in 25 years, it's not gonna be the same amount of money that how much it's worth today. So it's a little misleading that way, but it's still a humongous amount of money that we are using up on our home, on a roof to put a roof over our heads. Hopefully you're shocked and we'll talk soon.